Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. I got different questions from the student everywhere. And one of the most common questions is the sweep to command. If your sweep to ever look like this, this is the video for you. Are you ready? Let's get started. I have a lot of members ask me questions about the sweep to and I would like to uh, making a video to explain the concept of the sweep to. So let's say we have the two curve here and if you using the sweep to, this is the following uh, issue that they come um, most of the time. If you click here and here and click your cross section, then you hit enter, then you only get half of them. It doesn't go all the way to the end. And you may think, okay, that's fine. I'll click here and here, and I will click here as my cross section, and then you will get two. So you get two surface, two single surface. You say, that's no problem. I will just join it. But now this is, is a closed solid poly surface here. All right, so I'm going to do another way, put this on the side, and to show you the differences. Now, if I am going to use a sweep two again, and I'm going to click here, here. And before I click the cross section, I'm telling the dryer say, hey, I want to go from the point, which is this point, and coming into this cross section, and coming into this point one more time, and then I will get something like this. In the rendering, they look exactly the same. There's not much of a difference, which is actually identical, but this one is a poly surface. And this one is a single surface. The difference is, is this one, you can turn on the control point and you can keep editing. If you want to have each of the leaves different, you can, you know, drag this control point and things like that. However, this one, you cannot turn on the control point because it's a polished surface. You can only turn on the control point for a single surface. Really, really important. You can also click on this one if the point is too much and you can rebuild this one to be the last point for example I want to do 5 here I want to do 10 there or maybe less let's do 8 and make sure they are degree 3 so you get something like this and then you can turn on the control point and you can continue to edit it okay so that's a big difference between those two now let's take a look on what other things that happen in the sweep two and it's the most common issue. If you click on the sweep two and then you say, okay, this is the rail, make sure that, take a look, I click on the left side of this uh, curve and I click on the right side of this curve and then I click on the cross section and what happened, it will twist. If you intention to make some shape like this, this is actually a good technique to take on to making any shape like this. However, if you are not intentionally, this is going to cause problem. And what we can do with this, maybe that you can offset the surface and to make it into the solid to be something really thin. So I'm going to try 0.5 millimeter and I'm going to offset this one for 0.5 millimeter and let's see what happened we want to make sure it is solid okay so you could make it this a solid but watch out you might have a kink here and there all right so that is the things is click on the which side of the cross section is really important otherwise it will twist all right another thing that happened is this too when you use um join the curve your all snap is the end point is not on so i'm going to just moving this tiny bit like this so it has a gap there and you follow my tutorial say okay i'm going to use a sweep two i gotta click rail one rail two i gonna go from this point to this cross section and I want to click on the point and I snapping into the end point. Everything look nice, but you have something like this. The reason is you're telling the rhino say you go from this point to here, no problem and end to the point, but you are ending into the bottom point, not the top point, not the one that meet together. And that's how you get this one. So whenever you see that, you know, there's a gap there. Another, uh, things I will suggest to get the better model. Let's say this is the leaf and I wanted to do some decoration. So I'm coming into my right view 
and then I'm going to maybe make a notch there by using them uh, trim and I'm trimming here and here and then I want to join together all right so now I have this one see make sure that it is touching so if you don't have it this touching the way that you're going to do is coming to the transform you have orient to point and then you want to click on this one to orient make sure the scale equals 3d and then you want to go from this point to this point come in this point and stretch it to this point all right so they are touching for sure and that's join them now if you are saying i'm going to use a sweep 2 no problem you're gonna go rail 1 rail 2 and i click on this point come into this cross section oops see almost making mistake let me move this point back to this point all right so let's do sweep 2 again rail 1 rail 2 going from this point cross section going from this point and we hit enter like that all right it looked really nice but double click uh, make sure double check make sure that it is a single surface so you can continue to add it unfortunately this is a poly surface if you are going to finish like that that's fine but if you are not here's what i will suggest you to do rebuild this cross section before you ever making into the surface so make sure it's a degree three and we want to bump up the number so that way it will close to what we have there it will still have a little bit rounded but it is an organic shape so if that is the case then you will have sweep two and you got rail one rail two you're going from this point cross section and you get this point coming over here and then you will get something like this notice that this one is a single surface it's a closed surface which means that you can turn on the control point and keep editing or you can rebuild this guy to any point that you want so let's say 24 and let's say 10 here and we'll get something like this it's much smoother and then we can keep dragging it control point if we want to I hope this video helped you to find the an answer you've been looking for. And this is what we do every week in our private group coaching program. Check out our Jury Cat Masterclass with the bonus of one year private group coaching, which I will be personally answer your questions every week to help you to learn fast for the Jury Cat design. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next.